Hello and welcome to another introductory video about Streamsheets. Today we are going to simulate our own data and send this simulated data to an MQTT broker. We're going to use the windmill default example to do so. I'm just going to dive right in. I already opened it up in another tab. And as you can see, the windmill example is composed out of, on the left side, some values and parameters. And on the right side, we have this beautiful windmill. Um, basically, what happens here is that we define some parameters, which are speed, angle and power of the windmill. And we want to send them over to uh, an MQTT broker. So we use this MQTT publish function to send this data to this topic. Now, how do we simulate data? Basically, what we need is a function that generates uh, random data. And this is our rand between function. With every recalculation of this cell, another random number between minus 10 and 11 is shown. I divide this number by 100 to get these sweet decimal numbers right here, which we need. This is called the change of wind. Basically, all our parameters here are directly or indirectly linked to this data source. For example, the speed. The speed basically is B6 plus B11. So with every new calculation of this cell, the actual speed is added to the change of wind. The same goes for the, the angle and the power. As you can see, the power directly references to the speed. So new speed, new power. And how does it work? How does this stream sheet recalculate itself? So I can go here and start the machine. And as you can see, everything starts to change. Also, this windmill here is uh, turning. So to understand when and how a stream sheet is recalculating itself, we have to go into the stream sheet settings. We have something here called calculate stream sheet. And if you open up the drop down, you see a bunch of different uh, modi, and we are using the mode continuously. This one orientates itself on the cycle time. The cycle time here is set to 100 milliseconds. And this basically means that every 100 milliseconds, the whole sheet here is recalculating itself. So we are getting new changes of wind and new speeds and new angles and new power every 100 milliseconds. We just have to publish this status and we are already finished with our uh, simulated data source. So this is why we have the MQTT publish function right here. Every time we have a new set of parameters right here, the MQTT publish function publishes this to the broker and basically we are ready and all set with our simulated data. Now you guys probably think, why are these blades turning right here? So I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to pause and click of one of these. And as you can see, these are just objects. And the objects also have their own functions. And instead of only having static input for this function here, we have references. And there's also a parameter called angle. And we are referencing this parameter right here onto the sheet. And this means that if the parameter on the sheet is changing, the angle of the blade is changing. And this is why all these three blades are on a different position every new step. This is basically already it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to know more about stream sheets just follow our channel in the next video i'm going to show you how to monitor the data that we are sending here over this event stream and also do a little bit of dashboarding so see you soon and thank you very much goodbye